Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Cambrian table lamp. This is the 272115. Got one right here so we can talk about it and go over all the nice little details about it. Let's talk about what Cambrian is to begin with. So it's a word that actually pertains to a part of ge geological history that lasted for 54 million years all about the rocks. So, and this is slate from Vermont. Actually, Hubberton Forge is in Castleton, Vermont, and if you ever happen to get over there, that's called the Slate Belt, and it kind of runs from Castleton along the New York-Vermont border through Pulteney and um, uh, Granville, New York, and it kind of makes its way down pretty much to a place called Wells, Vermont, where Lake St. Catherine is. So, that's the slate belt. If you're ever over there, you'll see slate all over the place. You'll see slate outcroppings. You'll see everyone has a slate roof. You see slate sidewalks, slate buildings, slate every, everywhere you look. Anyway, and that's where this comes from. And this piece of slate can be a little different side to side. So on um, this piece, looks like I have this in backwards because it looks like there's a little bit of a bevel right here. But um, the size of it can be a little bit different. The color and the texture can be a little bit different. So just something for you guys to be aware of. But anyway, very pretty, and it's, a, it's really a piece of art when you look at this. I love how Hubberton Forge takes something that's so organic and kind of puts it into a, a frame along with, you know, their forging, and then you get this great combo, okay? Let's get into a lot of details on size of it. So from the bottom of the tabletop to the top of the lampshade itself is going to be 35.3 inches. 22 inches is going to be the diameter basically because it's the bottom of this. So you have a 22 inch diameter lampshade. The top of the shade is coming in at 19 inches in diameter and the height of the shade is coming in at 10 inches in diameter. And a lot of people want to know those little details and I'm all about that. Um, let's put this on for a second. Hold on one second. Okay, so distance from here, right there, to here, right here is going to be 24.5 inches. So that's bottom of shade to tabletop. Um, and this part is coming in about 16 inches, coming in about 17 inches for the width of it. So obviously a piece of slate is very thin. So, and again, we're in a stone building, a marble building. We had a slate roof just like this for a long time. Uh, we took it off to put solar panels on. However, I kept that slate and we use it all over the place. So I even have slate floors in my house because it's so abundant here. Let's look at the base of this really quick. So this is this base is 7.5 inches in diameter. The bottom of it, you can see, is covered in felt, so it's going to protect your tabletop. The finish of the, the fixture itself is going to be starting right here under the socket, running down the forged metal part, which is here. The base of it is going to be part of that choose your finish on the finish help guide when you pull that pull that down. Up on top of it, the socket and the harp, harp is part that holds your shade, that's coming in in a beautiful plated chrome. And while we're here, why don't we talk about the dimmer on this. So this is a medium base, it's called the E26, and the this part of it here is a turn knob, but it's also a dimmer. So you have a built-in dimmer on this, and you can kind of hear it click, click off. So it's an on-off dimmer, which is awesome. Okay, let's move into a couple other things. Let's talk about the cute little finial. So on top of this is going to be what's called a finial, right there. And this is different than our other Hubberton Forge finials. It's just, I've never seen this before. So this is all laser cut steel. It's welded to the top of this knob, and it's all hand done that way. You know, it's amazing that Hubberton would go into so much detail for just a little finial. It tells you everything you need to know about this company. There you go. There. Okay. Let's talk about what's going on as far as what you can put into this, how much light you can get out of it. That's going to be very important. The bulb that can fit into this harp, and we're going to bring the harp down again, is this, and it's an A19. An A19 is a standard size light bulb we all grew up with, and you can get it in lots of ways. If you want to go incandescent, which you might still want to, they still exist out in the world, 60 watt max is going to be the max that you can put into this. When you get into LEDs, you can go pretty far out. So LEDs come in different flavors. This is kind of an old school white one. This is called a phosphorus one. It has a little phosphorus lines running through it. I have found these up to a 100 watt equivalent and I've actually done some research on and finding them also up to a 150 watt equivalent which is pretty important if you really want to blast light out of this. The nice thing about when you get into these shades, this is called an empire just because there's a little bit of a slope. 
but it's kind of a drum shade also. So the top of it's open, so you get a lot of light going up and hitting your white ceiling and bouncing around the room, and then you get light coming down, eliminating things like your book and, and the sculpture too. So it's going to be the wash of light's going to be coming down on this, which is awesome. But um, this will this will easily light an entire room just based on the, the opening at the top, putting light on the ceiling, and then bathing the entire room in ambient light. Okay, let's talk about the LEDs one more time. So very important when you go looking for LEDs, I always talk about the color of the light coming out of an LED. These are going to be offered to you in different types. 2700 Kelvin is going to be a super yellow light, and you know when you get into what's called Kelvin in the LED world. The yellower it is, the less lumens you get out of it, and the whiter it is, bluer it is, the more lumens you get out of it. But we'll talk about right in the middle of those two things. 2700 Kelvin, like I said, is going to be the super yellow light. The bluish white light, like a hospital waiting room light, which I don't think would look great in this, and I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm a fan of it in a restaurant or a store or something like that or a hospital, and that's kind of what you're used to, that bluish white light. Or it looks like an overcast day. That's going to be that 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 Kelvin. They call that daylight. Daylight sounds like it should be warm. It's not warm. That's, that's kind of a bluish white cold light. In the middle of all that, what we like to use in our showroom, like I talk about all the time in these videos, is called warm white. Warm white is 3,000 Kelvin. That's the nice warmth that you have coming down on me here. These LEDs above me are 3000 Kelvin warm white bulbs, and that's what we like to use because they kind of mimic um, our friend, the incandescent bulb we all grew up with. Okay, Again, dimmer on this, really important when you guys go shopping for light bulbs, and you can find these everywhere. You can find them at a drugstore, you can find them at your grocery store, you can find them at a hardware store, home centers, online, super easy to get. Don't go too crazy looking for them because any place you go into is going to have them. But it's very important. Try to get the highest wattage as you can or lumens coming out of it as far as equivalent. Like a 100 watt equivalent I think would be a good way to go with this. And make sure it is dimmable. Let's get into metal finishes now. If you are on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over in the red tabs with the pictures in them over there. You're going to see a finishes help guide tab. Open that up for me. It's going to be a video there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardson Forge finishes how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a chart just down below. So scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a chart. You can click on that chart. So you can click on dark smoke. You can click on soft gold. Doesn't matter. Big page will pop up showing lots of different things in that finish. You can go back to the chart and you'll notice there's letters A's on them, letter B's on some of those things, and that's going to be showing you this range of variants that you can expect to see on different translucent finishes, but I'll talk about all of that in the video, okay? Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display and including which finish, which shade, all of those things and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, it's it's a very small addition per line item. So if you have like one, two, three items, like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish, that's one line item. So it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things. Don't be afraid to email us and ask about that. 
Okay, so that's really it. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. We would love to see you in our showroom sometime. And thanks for stopping in.